हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बाइनरी ट्री अ नॉन लिनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड कीप द बिल रिंगिंग फ्रॉम द बाइनरी ट्री अ नॉन लिनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर हियर we are going through the variant of a binary tree is a threaded binary tree first of all let's see what is binary tree and its representation so binary tree is a tree where it is having at most two children it is shown like this this is a root node root node a is having its left child b its address is stored in its left pointer and its right child is c its address is stored into its right pointer so this is nothing but a binary tree here you must have observed that both the child nodes are having their left pointer and right pointer are null so here we can see that this is nothing but the wastage of memory and to reuse this memory the next variation of a binary tree is nothing but a threaded binary tree here in threaded binary tree we first of all will see what is that null pointer so link part of a node representation if it remains null for a node which may have only a single children or which may not have a child node that is it is a leaf node so in this case here you can see that b and c both are nothing but the leaf nodes so here in total four null pointers are there and that are we are reutilizing in a threaded binary tree the introduction of all these things and detail about the threads and the different types of threaded binary tree that i have already covered in part 1 and part 2 if you want to know more about these things you can refer that previous videos let now let's see what are the operations that can be performed on a threaded binary tree so that operations we are going to check on to the fully threaded binary tree that we have already seen there are types of different threaded binary trees from which we are going to focus on a fully threaded binary tree here we will see there are actual three ways in which we can construct the fully threaded binary tree they are in order threaded binary tree pre ordered threaded binary tree and a post ordered threaded binary tree from which let's focus only on the in order threaded binary tree on this in order threaded binary tree which different operations we can perform they are the first operation is nothing but the insertion operation second operation is nothing but the display operation and the third operation is nothing but the deletion operation so in together we can perform these different operations on a threaded binary tree that is fully threaded binary tree and in order threaded binary tree while insertion only we are going to create the in order threaded binary tree so to know more details about these different operation i would like to request you to stay tuned with my channel tech talks so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please like the video subscribe my channel and share it with your friends here i am providing you a subscription link for my channel tech talks along with the next video of this video series and the whole video series i am providing here in the form of playlist thank you happy learning happy data structuring thank you